okay so as we keep as we keep increasing the pressure a point comes where there is no net movement of solvent particles from the right hand side to the left hand side now this pressure on the left hand side this pressure on the left hand side this pressure on the left hand side that completely stops the process of osmosis stops the the <clears throat> process of osmosis is called is called osmotic pressure osmotic pressure see as if i had allowed some time to elapse if i had allowed some time to elapse so so more of this would have come here and the tendency listen listen and the tendency to move from right to left will start going down with the with the progress of time so gradually what will happen with progress of time the osmotic pressure will start going to zero and a point will come when when it has reached an equilibrium what is the osmotic pressure what is the osmotic pressure when they have reached an equilibrium zero you do not require any pressure to actually stop the osmosis it has already stopped what if you apply water reverse osmosis the moment i cross the point of osmotic pressure i'll i'll go into the zone of reverse osmosis and what we normally expect the reverse of that starts happening ro right RO systems are only that reverse osmosis systems. RO purifier is exactly that. Hmm? So, so if we apply, if we apply, if we apply a pressure greater than the osmotic pressure. greater than the osmotic pressure the reverse osmosis occurs occurs so what happens the movement of solvent particles which otherwise was expected from the rhs to the lhs will start from lhs to the rhs right that is the solvent particles will start moving from the lhs to the rhs which is against what we normally expect and that's why it is called reverse osmosis okay that's why that is the reason that that is the reason why it is called reverse osmosis Okay. Huh? 